Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to discuss about the environments in Postman. I have briefly covered or touched based about the test environment or the environment option within Postman and why do we need it. Now in this video, I'm going to explain it all practically and how you are going to use environments within Postman. Okay, so if I go to this side here, you will see that this is no environment. That means no environment is selected and then we can create certain environment. Now, what is the significance? I'll touch base briefly about the significance of having test environment or the environment section here. So now in the software testing, right, or in any of the software development, usually there is a overall process that is being followed from the building the application to moving it to the production, right? So say, for example, I have a team which is building some of the application. OK, so the development team, what they will do is they will have their development machines. OK, so simply they will have their own, uh, for example, their laptops or desktop, right, where they'll be writing their code. OK, they'll be testing it locally and then there'll be an actual test machine wherein they'll be pushing that code or deploying that code basically into the test machine right so they'll be creating that uh, jar file or the package which can be deployed right so for example there will be some of the basic requirements operating system and other requirements that need to be there basically on that the bare minimum default for that particular application to run in terms of hardware and software that will be there on the test machine and these test machine can be many right so basically it could be one for the development team okay so it could be one for the development team. The other machine could be for the test team. And there could be many different machines for the testing as well. So for example, this is used for the system testing. Okay, this testing machine wherein this server, whatever code has been deployed here, uh, whatever dev is testing that is being deployed here. Then some of the testers might, might also test those functionalities here. Similarly, once it's deployed in the system testing system testing team might be able to might be doing or running the system test scenario then for another doing the system integration testing there could be another server which is having a different integration with other downstream and upstream applications so the code can move basically from the local desktop local laptop that the developer is writing the actual code in the form of packages to different machines to different servers and that's when basically when the overall testing team goes ahead and checks that yes whatever whatever functionalities are being built in the development in the development teams laptop is actually working as expected as per the business requirement then there is a pre-prod machine okay so we will say pre-prod all right pre-prod machine so after that pre-prod in the pre-prod it's deployed and then finally it goes into the prod server okay when we say production server or prod server which is basically end users are using right for example when we go ahead and launch amazon.com okay or any other public website basically the website shopping website or any other application those applications are available to the entire public right they can go ahead and shop in on the amazon.com so that application is where it is it's in the prod server right but do you think that developers will directly code something there is a new feature that is being uh, that is required in the prod they'll code something test locally and then do you think they'll directly move it into the prod server not at all right so it will the whole software development life cycle will follow this whole process it will go into the test in the in the dev machine in the dev server there will be some testing done there some unit testing then there will be another server wherein the deployment will happen system testing will happen another server there will be system integration testing right so these are different test environments we say right so when the application is deployed into different machines or environment these are different test environments wherein a particular feature can be tested for example this team is working on certain feature there is another team working on different features they could be having a complete different team or separate team to test those features then there will be a server wherein the, this team's code and the other team's code is being merged and then there are test servers available wherein there is system testing system integration testing they go ahead and test all of those functionalities before the application is deployed or those functionalities are deployed into the production right so many servers are there you can assume that these test environments are many servers where testing team 
test the application and development team deploys those uh, the code that they are writing so that those functionalities are available and testing team can test it right and that is where this concept of environments come in picture right so basically when we say a server when we say system testing right so there could be a different endpoint or different server for which this particular endpoint right so the point the endpoint that is pointing to the system testing could be something like this st.rcvacademytutorials.atlassian.net something like that. okay or it could be sit.something right or it could be totally different this url so if that's the case then rest all the functionality if we say project search functionality right project search functionality if it is developed and it is deployed in the development okay in the development box if i say if if, if it is deployed here okay if it is deployed here or it is deployed here the only thing that is going to change is the server address right and the rest all core functionality is going to remain same so what is going to change this bit is going to change right whatever is the server specific locator okay so in this case this host name is going to change okay and this is what i'm going to explain today so if you see here this the instance that we have been working with was rcv academy live.atlassian.net i could also have the same code base installed in in a different server for which this host name might be different let's assume as of now what i have done is i have signed up for another jira instance right which is basically rcv academy tutorials.atlassian.net so if i have to create a issue because the functionality is same right it, both are jira cloud instance this is a different server instance so we can assume it a different test machine and the other one is a different test machine right so this is where our environment thing within postman will be really helpful how let's understand that okay so what we'll do in order to set up the environment within postman you simply have to go to the left hand side here okay so let me zoom in a little bit okay so we click on the environment and you'll see i've created some of the environment but in order to create so for example you don't have any of the environment right so to create a new environment click on the plus sign all right now in here what all are the common factor or basically common variables that could be common across right the value of the variable might change okay but then we know that this end point okay the end point that we are hitting will change as per environment to environment okay so we can say okay we can have a host name right so we'll change we'll rename this particular environment to this one which is rcv academy live okay so i can say rcv academy live right and then we know that this will have a host name variable okay and the value for the host name for this is what it is basically whatever the value we are getting here so what is the value of the host name here so the host name value is rcv academy live dot atlassian dot net right so i'll simply copy it and in the current value i'll simply set that up okay now what is the next thing that is very specific to this particular environment is the username and the secret right so i can create another because you can't directly because this is a, this is a jira api we have to have the account there so the account will have a name username which will be your email that you use to sign up and then also the secret which i have already explained how you will create a secret so the username is the email so i can simply change it to secret so that when i'm typing nobody can see it right so basically and the username for this one is rcv okay and then we'll have the secret okay so here the secret that we have been using as of now we have been storing it into the where into the collection level okay so if i go to the collection level let me quickly go back and you will see at the collection level we had jira token right we had jira token and then we also had the user id right so this jira token is what we'll use okay this is the passcode so i'll simply copy this and get that passcode and name it as jira token right and then i'll also make it as secret and paste that jira token here okay save it now these variables are specific to a particular environment which environment rcv academy live right so now in the collection what i can go ahead and do is for example at this collection level okay i can basically now we go to the for example we are going to the get projects okay or say for example here itself okay. we had this jira token here so i'll simply delete this all right and then at the project level say for example i want to fetch the get project 
okay get uh, do the get project call okay and we have a basic auth right so now you will see i can use those username and jira token right so those username and jira token at the moment you will see it is coming from global okay but now if i go ahead and choose the environment rcv academy live okay so now if you see i'm hovering over this is this username is coming from where it is coming from the environment because i have created a variable a username at the environment level okay and then also there is a token for this particular endpoint right so this is rcv academy tutorials.net i'll replace it with the live okay so i'll copy this and then replace that okay but then we also don't need to hard code this value here right because we can use the host name okay because we have defined the host name at the environment level as well so i'll simply use the double quotes put the host name and then this host name whatever rcv academy live.atlassian.net will be fetched and then rest all is basically the search endpoint okay so now you know that with the set of with the help of environment i can maintain host name username and jira token which is specific to a particular environment okay now if i have to maintain the same thing for the second environment i'm say for example i'm testing it in a different server okay so now this is one environment now say for example if i go back and here i'm testing in dev I'm, this is another server this is another server right so i simply have to store the host name create an environment in postman for dev for test for sit okay and then store the secret username and passcode for this variable and the endpoint right the host name and store all the values in this particular environment so when i'll choose st environment okay or system testing environment in postman these values that are being stored against these variables okay the host name the secret the jira token and the the host name uh, and the username they th those will be picked up then we'll use the same variable names here as well okay and store the dev environment specific details here when i'll choose dev in the drop down here okay so for example i create another environment and i choose dev those values will be pulled up okay so let me create one more environment so it becomes very clear to you okay so now the another environment another instance jira instance that we have is this one which is rcv academy tutorials okay so let me simply use the same variable names okay so we have this username right and then we have this jira token and then we have host name okay now these are specific to a particular environment and i'll rename this environment to rcv tutorials i'll save it so what what is the username for this so username i'll simply change it to secret and then i'll type in the username and the host name is this rcv tutorials and i'll put the host name there right and then we have the jira token which is which will be specific to this particular jira instance okay so i have already created that uh, jira token let me quickly copy and paste it here okay i'll keep it secret as well so it's not visible on the screen okay so i have copied that here as well okay now if i go to collection all right if i go to collection and from here now the endpoint for get projects endpoint the environment is rcv academy live okay so if i open this get project call here and let's try to see what all host name is right so host name is rcv academy live dot atlassian dot net okay which is specific to environment rcv academy live then username is for the rcv academy live okay and the passcode or the password is jira token which is for rcv academy live now if i have to search the projects in another test environment okay so i'll go ahead in the drop down in the postman i'll select the another environment which is rcv tutorials that i have created now because rcv tutorials also has the host name same variable host name the value was different right so the new value will be picked up okay and then similarly the username and jira token will be picked up which are specific to the rcv tutorials test environment right so now i don't have to basically go ahead and keep changing the host name and the username and password i can maintain all of that in just environment any environment specific variable and the value for that environment in the environment variable and then simply send the request and now this time you will see the projects that will be searched are specific to rcv academy tutorials so in the response you will see that i am getting rcv academy tutorials 
okay and then you will see there are total 11 projects in here okay but if i change the environment and see rcv academy live and send this now you will see the response is rcv from rcv academy live and there are only four projects right four total project and you'll see you 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 will be able to clearly see let me close this let me discard it uh go to the get project call again send it and here you'll see this is more of yeah so rcv academy live four and these are uh, there is a service desk project there is a rcv academy hr right and then if i go to rcv tutorial send it i don't have to do any token or passcode changing or the host name changing that is being handled from the environment level and if i hover over here you will see this e that means this particular variable is resolved at the environment level okay scope is the environment okay and if you scroll down here you will see that i'm getting different project right classic kanban and this is all different instance altogether different server altogether okay so this is basically what the concept about the environment test environment within postman is and in general this is nothing but just a general testing practice or software development practice and in order to support that overall release cycle practice testing and overall this functionality is being provided in postman so that you can basically repoint your script to a new environment easily and test the same script right so i didn't have to update anything in order to get the project detail or search projects I just had to repoint to the new host name and provide new user and passcode, right? That's the only thing I want. But the rest endpoint is all same, right? Because it's the same code base. So that's where the environment concept becomes really helpful. And practically, this is how you are going to use the environment concept within Postman, right? So now this whole diagram would be making a lot of sense that yes say for example if i'm hitting rcv academy live then this is going say for example to the test environment when i'm hitting rc rcv academy tutorials this is going to system test some other team is actually working or even you are just trying to see that it is basically working in the both servers both environments before it is moved to the integration test machine then you can create another environment in postman and try to hit the same work or same payload and the responses the queries that you have written in postman on a different endpoint so the rework is reduced a lot okay with the concept of the environment maintain and management within post okay so that's all for this video i hope now the environment concept is absolutely clear within postman and in general in the testing and development practice that's all for this video thank you very much for watching